Hey guys, it's Daniel with Boss C 351's Productions. Today what we have is a prequel of sort to the engine build videos. We're doing a prequel because this is important and you're going to have to perform this before you put the engine together. First, before we get into that, I want to thank everyone who has liked my videos, subscribed to my channel, and clicked on that bell and ring that bell. You have helped me out a lot, and I especially want to thank the guys that have sent me donations through my videos. Every bit of it has helped. In fact, what I'm videoing on right now instead of my cell phone camera is a brand new GoPro 13 black camera. I was able to acquire this camera from all the donations, the, mon the monetization of my channel, and this in turn will help me do some better videos, maybe some higher quality videos if that thing holds up. Also, I can get into some tighter spaces than I can with my cell phone. Plus, my cell phone always dings and chimes or somebody calls right in the middle of the video and I've got to stop, answer the phone or do whatever and start the video over. Hopefully, with this camera, I won't have to do that anymore and we'll get some great videos. And what am I talking about? valve clearance checks your valve clearance checks what this is is you're checking the space between the camshaft base circle and the valve tappet this is the valve tappet it fits down on the spring so if you look at my diagram this is the camshaft here's the base circle of the camshaft this is the lobe of the camshaft this uh, rectangle is the valve tappet inside the valve tappet is it, basically a button is what i call it and the button has varying thicknesses depend on what tappet was put into it from factory of course this is the keeper and this is the spring and this is the valve stem the tappet fits on top of the valve stem and it the thickness of the valve tappet button determines the valve clearance between the tappet and the base circle of the camshaft. Now our specifications for this valve clearance between the tappet and the base circle of the camshaft, Ford gives it to you both in millimeters and in inches. So on the intake valve, we have 0.15 millimeters to 0.25 millimeters clearance or six to ten uh, thousandths in inches your exhaust valve is 0 0.36 millimeters to 0 0.46 millimeters or 14 thousandths to 18 thousandths inches okay later on when you get your measurements you're going to have to do some conversions from inches to millimeters that way you'll be able to determine what size tap it you're going to have to order if any so the first thing you do when you get your heads off your engine put them on a table and you're going to get two uh, egg cartons that hold 12 12 eggs each and put them on the table next to the heads you're going to label one right side and label the other left side you're going to put the head on the table next to it and you're going to read from top to bottom, left to right, and you're going to start taking the old tappets out of the heads, and you're going to number them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that is from top to bottom, left to right, like you're reading a book. And you're going to put them in the egg cartons, you know, accordingly. Once you get that out, get that done, you go ahead and send your heads to have them cleaned, have the valves uh, checked, have the valve guides checked, most likely have a valve uh, job done on them. Once you get the heads back, then it's time to reassemble. So you're going to take those tappets that you've already got out and you're going to put them back in the associated heads just like they came out. The next step in the process is you're going to get two pieces of paper 
you're going to write right on the on one on the top of one one piece of paper left on the top of the other piece of paper and you're going to draw these diagrams just like i have it exhaust and you'll tap it tap it tap it tap it tap it tap it intake you know just like that just like this on a piece of paper and put blanks next to each one of them this is where you're going to document your measurements that you get uh, when you go in to measure uh, the valve clearance that you have now after they have come back from the machine shop. Now to determine what your measurement is going to be for your valve clearance, you're going to reinstall the cams and you reinstall them with the uh, lobe up. So it, now when you bolt everything down, you're going to have three opportunities to take your measurements. Every time you bolt it down, you'll take a measurement, unbolt it, rotate the cams, bolt it back down, take your measurements, unbolt them, rotate them, bolt them back down again, and then take your third set of measurements. And this is per head. Now how you measure it, you're going to take a feeler gauge and you're going to start, let's say on the intake side, you're going to start, let's say, where is it? Six thousandths. This is a six thousandths feeler gauge right here. That is the bare minimum that you can have on the intake side in valve clearance. And you're going to stick it between, you see, this goes in with no drag so you're going to move up to the second one which is going to be seven thousandths and you're going to do the same thing run it in between a little bit of a drag but it goes in too easy so we're going to go to the next one which is going to be eight thousandths Stick it in there. Got a bit of a drag. And we're going to go to the next one. And we're going to try nine thousandths. See if nine thousandths will go in there. Nine thousandths will go in there. So our measurement is eight thousandths. Is eight thousandths within our tolerances. Yes, it is. In fact, it's perfect. We want to arrive between six and 10 thousandths, and that eight thousandths is perfect. So you're gonna do this on every single one, and then you're gonna document on your paperwork what you come out with. Now, in a particular instance, let's say you're measuring it in you go all the way up to 10 thousandths and it still, still does not give you a light drag or a slight drag. So we move up to 12, 13, 15 thousandths. You get all the way up to 20 thousandths and you get the slight drag. That's 10 thousandths more than what you're supposed to have. And it's actually 12 thousandths more than what you really, really need. So what do you do? If you take the roller tappets and you look on the inside of them, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got writing on the inside of it. This one is 3.175, that's millimeters. What you're going to have to do, so you, you're trying to get to eight thousandths, you're at twenty thousandths, okay? So that's twelve thousandths more. So I look at my feeler gauges, which has just so happened to have the millimeters on it, and you can do a sort of a conversion, or you can break out your cell phone and find a inches to millimeter conversion uh, online. There, there are several different calculators on there. If you have to do that, or you can do what I'm doing here. So 12 thousandths is exactly point. 
3.30 millimeters. So, so you're going to take 0 0.30 millimeters. You're going to add it to the 3.175 millimeters. That will give you 3.475 millimeters. And that's your requirement for your valve tappet thickness. So that's what we're going to have to look for on the Ford website. And you're going to look up valve tappets. When you find the valve tablets for the Ford 3.5 engine, you're going to find about 25 of different ones, all in varying sizes. And the sizes have to do with the button thickness. In this particular instance, we want a thicker button uh, thickness. So take your total measurement that you just came up with and look through all the buttons until you find either the exact one or one very close. It's they're not going to be exact. They don't have one that, that, you know, every one thousandth of an inch. You're just going to have to get as close as you can. Once you find as clo the one the clo as close as you can to your measurement, then what you're going to do is go to your intake and you're going to write that measurement down. And you're also going to put on there that you ordered it and, uh, for, for, the, for the head and what number it goes to. So for this particular one is going to be number one. Document it, make sure you know, so when they come in, you can take it right out of the package and put it in the head. Now on the flip side of that, let's go to the exhaust valve. Your minimum is 14 thousandths, your maximum is 18 thousandths. So you put your 14 thousandths filler gauge in there and it just will not fit. So you start going down till you get to Ten thousands. Ten thousands will fit. Eleven thousands won't. So again, you are off how much? Six thousands. You're going to do your conversion again. Six thousands should be 0.15 millimeters. Okay. So you're going to get your roller tap it out. You're going to check see what the measurement is, and this time you're going to add. 0.15 millimeters to the size of that roller tappet, then you're going to go in and do your convert your uh, checks on the Ford website or your dealer's website, and you're going to find the one of these roller or these uh, valve tappets that's going to fit, and you're going to document it on your paper. You'll find that you know it takes long enough for the stuff to come in that if you try to remember which one goes where by the time it comes in, you won't remember. I document all my stuff in actually in a book. So I know what I did, what size I put in, what size it had in it before. I keep up with everything in the book. So I, you know, I don't have to rely on my memory, which fails me sometimes. Once again, this is Daniel with Boss C351's Productions. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Please hit that bell. Every bit of it helps. Coming up, before we put the engine together, we have to take the next step. What is it? What do you have to do to your pistons and your piston rings before you install them in the engine? That calls for, most likely than not, cutting the rings. Again, thank you for watching my video.